So I've often been asked about engine hours on a boat. What's too many hours? What's, you know, what's to avoid or what I would consider as decent running hours on a boat? Um, that's an open-ended question uh, for me and I think I'd reply to those folks by just saying that if the engines are well maintained you should not have ever a problem with the engines themselves. Now that said everything else is going to break on the boat for you uh, so so just be ready for that. It's all the, always the little things like the toilet system and you know electrical system and this that now I don't I don't want to scare you but trust me uh, owning a boat is a lifetime of fixing things <laughs> so getting back to the engine errors uh, I'm just gonna use our boat as an example we have a 1998 C-Ray 370 Sundancer which we were fortunate enough to find almost two years ago we discovered this boat online it was listed through a broker in uh, Sandusky, Ohio, where we are situated right now uh, in the world is Ontario, Canada. So we basically bought this bike boat sight on scene, but that's okay because again, I have a lot of experience on a background working and fixing. <laughs> like I said, you're always fixing stuff on a boat. So this is our sixth sea ray that we've had. And I'm just gonna dive, dive into the engine hours, which I'm pointing at the dash, the helm. This boat came factory equipped with twin engines so two engines most manufacturers or at least in this this generation they would show what the uh, there was a uh, a meter shall we say showing the engine hours the accumulated engine hours for each engine and first thing that was brought to mind with the surveyor when we were looking at the boat and actually looking at the listing each tachometer was showing way off different hours so i think one was about 100 hours less than the other engine which to me is either a problem because there was you know a catastrophic failure with an engine or who knows what so what i later learned was that one tachometer had been replaced by a previous owner so of course that's why there's the disparity in the engine hours now that said whatever the engine whatever the gauges show don't trust them uh, any boat that has been built uh, with let's say from the late 80s upward uh, the engines would have what are called ECMs electronic control modules and they're basically the brains of the engines the computer of the engine and it tells the engine what to do when it's running uh, which would have been installed by the factory these engines are 454 7.4 liter GM block engines they're Merc cruisers made by Mercury but they, they start their life in a General Motors plant where they were built back in the day uh, so the ECMs will keep track of everything like say it's the brain so <laughs> it wants to know what's going on so the ECMs will give you the true engine hour readings so when we bought this boat again uh, had the uh, had a, a marine mechanic just do a scan of the ECMs to find out what the true hours both in around 610 hours basically I'll show it on the screen right now what the actual readings were which seemed right for the age of the boat. Uh, a little low in my opinion, but a lot of people don't use the boats as much as they should, again, in my humble opinion. Um, so when we got the boat home here to Ontario, Canada, one of the first jobs that I did was I installed an auxiliary engine hour meter. It's just an inexpensive one that I found online, just hooked up to the starboard engine. When we're running this boat, always the two engines are running at the same time, so I start just I always start generally the port engine first once I see that the oil pressure is up and it's all running happily I'll fire up the starboard engine as well so the engine hours by the end of the season they should both be within a couple of minutes of each other so I have been keeping track since I installed that gauge and uh, we had put already approximately 10 hours running hours on this boat before I installed them and so uh, last year was a banner year. We actually put 115 hour, 115 hours runtime on these engines, which was awesome. We did a lot of traveling. This year, not so much. Uh, real time, this is 2023, end of the season. The boat's already out of the water for, uh, for winter storage. But um, we only put in, uh, put on, I think, 33 hours on the engines and actually almost put as many hours on the generator uh, at 31 hours. So that was a low year for us. We usually average between, let's say 50 and 75 hours of runtime a year. Last year, like say 115 hours, that was awesome. That was a bonus. We got to do a lot of traveling, which was fantastic. 
but I will um, I'll, I, I'm gonna close this one off by just saying that if you're looking to buy a boat don't trust what the listing says if you're buying a boat you're looking at a boat online whatever it says with the engine hours be skeptical of that if you decide you want to buy that boat or you want to make an offer on it and please have the offer always uh, um, conditional on a, a survey hopefully a, a mechanical survey as well and a sea trial a sea trial is just testing the boat on the water but that's gonna be a video for another day um, but have a mechanic look at the engines scan the engines and see what they say for the engine hours and that will probably be a lot truer reading than the gauges on the dash because you don't know if they've been swapped changed or whatever yeah so that's my long-winded overview of engine hours when if you're looking to buy a boat what to look for what to look out for and what you should keep in mind okay so as always I look forward to your comments and please keep an eye out for more of these types of videos uh, I plan to do a lot of them and I'm going to include them into a playlist with and you will leave a link to that play, playlist down in the description of this video as well as the subsequent ones um, pertaining to buying a boat or what to look for when buying a boat hope you found this one informative and yeah absolutely leave me a comment leave me your questions and also if there's something in particular that you would like me to review and talk about yeah leave that down the uh, in the description in the comments as well and I hopefully I can do that for you all right I will see you in the next one cheers